morning guys and welcome back a um, bit of a catastrophe I've managed to break my glasses so I had to get the uh, lovely young lady on reception to program the sat nav for me we're now leaving Madrid and we are heading towards Seville so let's go it's been a good visit we've had a good look around the only thing that I um, couldn't do was film the um, Egyptian temple that would have uh, that would have been a, the icing on the cake but unfortunately you only get to see it on foot so I do have photographs and I do have um, the history of it and how it came to be in Spain so I will get that posted and put up for you if you're interested Right, it's a beautiful day and we are Seville Band. Catch you later. And um, right, what you're seeing here is part of the national park or one of the national parks. Again, it's lush but it's open. And, uh, well, it's a hell of a size. Here's a bit of an update. We're about 120 kilometers outside of Seville, which is about 75 odd miles. Uh, we've had a good journey down so far temperature starting to go up because we're showing about 15 and a half uh, degrees centigrade so it's getting warmer um, but as I said earlier this is probably the most boring road I've ever been on we're just on one continuous um, auto via and it just runs and runs and runs so catch you guys later Hey guys, now we're about 12, about 12 kilometers out of Seville now. You can just start seeing in the distance uh, Seville itself. So um, it's been a good ride in. We've had fun, not. It's been a boring ride in. Just gonna open the visor quickly. I hate it when you get a niche on the nose. You can start seeing some of the uh, the old buildings that Seville is famous for in the area. We've been in the province of Seville now for about, um, I suppose about 10, 15 minutes. And over in the distance over there, you've actually got Seville itself so that's where we we're heading towards we've, as I say we're about we are 10 kilometers away so that's about six miles seven well almost six six and a half seven miles so we're not that far out so we're on this we're on the uh, the outskirts of uh, Seville It's got a lot warmer than it was in Madrid. So I'm grateful for that. And apparently this is my turn off. Okay. That I wasn't quite uh, expecting, but this is good.
one of the guys uh, on the channel made a comment and said that I ride Sam a bit like a car. In many ways, yeah, I do. Um, I try and keep everything smooth. I try and keep everything nice and uh, fluid. When I'm riding, and um, especially when I'm videoing, uh, I try not to uh, filter. But I do filter a lot. Um, and I do it like we all do it for expediency. And sometimes I do forget myself and I do get a little bit silly and end up doing some of the things that um, I know that we shouldn't do but it's just just the way it is but it's all good fun so I do glide Sam around a bit like a car sometimes um, she's eight foot one in length so she is um, a big girl herself so it is about making certain that everything is uh, well how would you word it sensible now there are many that know me then they go really that's two words that don't go together mark and sensible yeah but I do, I do try and keep um, everything as easy and simple as possible when riding. Now I'm going to put the visor up so the noise will change. I tend not to go in between the, um, the various different cars and push to the front. I could do but to be honest I'm not in a rush. And I don't really need to. So I'm just keeping it nice, simple, and uh, relaxing is, is probably the way of putting it. And that was me just missing my turn off. No problem. There is always an alternative. a beautiful day we're just coming up on uh, 4 p.m. so um, that's not too bad so it's going to be a nice evening so I'll check into the hotel and then We'll go out and uh, do a little bit of uh, exploring and of course I'm going to need to change the battery because you always do but I'll check it once we get everything in Later, guys.